All right, so I'm Kimbo. I blog at A Girl in a Glue Gun. And today we're making these really fun, um, it's chalkboard art, and then we're gonna add the wood. So they're really fun chalk, uh, hanging chalkboard art. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a big thing of chalkboard. So this is just paper. And um, you'll need a chalkboard artwork printed up. So if you want to get these printed up, you can go to Staples. The engineering prints. I've got a big glare on my face. It's like washing me out. I don't know why. Let me see if I can close the curtains if that works. So if you go to staples.com, you can print up these huge pieces. They, they have to be black and white, but you can get them for engineering prints. So I think this size is like $4, which, I mean, you can tell it's a nice, big, huge size. So some staples don't do it. For some reason, I've heard had a couple people comment on my blog that said that they don't do it. Um, and some people say that they do do it. So my staples is really, they do really black. So it's not so much chalkboardy. And you can ask them to lighten it up a little bit. Sometimes they'll work with you. It just depends on the worker at staples if they're happy to do it for you. So there's this one. This is the one that I already have done. And then I have, I want to show you this one because it's huge. So this one is, I think it's four feet by six feet maybe? No, it's not six feet. Three feet by five. I'm trying to think of how tall I am. Four feet maybe? I don't know. It's huge. So this is the biggest one and it is seven dollars to print out this huge one. And so the thing I like about them is that they're cheap. And it's really noisy. And this is the one we're going to be working on. This is a Christmas one. It says Old Holy Night. And so I really like them because they're really pretty. But you could actually hop on Pick Monkey and um, make up your own. You just got to keep in mind that it's got to be black and white. And I use the same technique at Staples to print up coloring pages. Big, huge, giant coloring pages. So they were that huge size. What is it? three feet by four feet or whatever. So these huge, we put it on the table and we just color. So that's a really fun option. I really like um, staples for that reason. So you're gonna have to print up and they take about a day. You get your print. This is the one I need to, I'll flip the camera around at the end and show you what it looks like. And then you just need wood. So this is the wood that I buy. It is just thin wood. It's just common board. Like it's not a, it's not pine or maple or anything fancy. It's on the end caps at Home Depot, and I think they're like a dollar sixteen or ninety eight cents or something. They're around a dollar for. Oh, I think it's eight feet long. So, th and this is what I use when I make those um, wood frames that are super popular. I have a big post on my blog, and this is the same kind of wood I use. So sometimes they have, they're bowed or like this one has. A big gouge in it and that's why it's so cheap so you just kind of want to um, look through and see what board is good so I actually had this one that was stained and then I just barely went out in the garage and cut it so you'll want to cut the wood and then stain it but we're doing it in reverse so I buy this wood they actually cut wood at Home Depot which is awesome because um, if you don't have a cutter then there's really no excuse not to do it because they'll do it for you but this is what I have. I was gonna look it up. I can't ever remember if this is a jigsaw or a scroll saw. This is mine and this is what I use. So we have a chop saw, but it's up on a shelf because I like to park in the garage because I don't like people to know that I'm home because I'm antisocial. So I, we have to put the chop saw up on the garage or on the shelf and so I don't have easy access to it. So I use this a ton. I use this to cut quite a few different jigsaw. She says it's a jigsaw, thank you. See, I can never remember. Uh, I actually just take my piece, my chalkboard, and then I measure this to size, and I actually made it so it overlaps a tiny bit, because I just like the look of it. I don't like it completely flush, I like it a little bit overlap. And that's how I measure. Like, I don't even have a measuring tape out there. I just eyeball it and make a mark and then cut it with my saw. And then after that, you're going to want to stain it. This one's done in a gray stain. And then this one is a brown, more of a brown stain. And they look good both ways. So you, so you just need your hot glue gun for this. 
my favorite thing. Okay. I can see a tripod leg, but I guess that's what you're going to have to do. So you're going to pick what side of wood. So this one has that notch in it. So I'm going to use, this is going to be my back because it has that notch. And then it's just a matter of a ton of hot glue. You're gonna hot glue and you're gonna want a good um, stick to it. So like you can flip up this a little bit and see if it comes up and then add a little bit of glue underneath it and make sure that it's on there really good. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the opposite side. You have to figure out which one the top is, even though I just looked. So this one's the top. And after you have all, all hot glued, I love this jute. I'm just going to take it in. So here's my end, and I'm going to take it in about here and do a big daub. And then I'm going to roll. So I put it in, and then you roll it, and it just covers it with glue. And then you just have to wait for that to dry. Oh, I don't have scissors. You're going to measure how much you want it to hang down. This is totally up to you, too. And it depends on how big it is. <coughs> Excuse me. I have had allergies so bad, guys. So I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to measure the same width in as the other side. So it's even on both sides. Another big glob of glue. And I'm going to roll it in there. And I'm going to burn myself. That is hot glue. So if you're spending $4 to get this big giant chalkboard and then the wood is, I probably used half of it. So 50 cents for the wood. I mean, you're in at less than $5. Okay, I don't want to hang it up without these being dry. Let me flip you so you can actually see. Okay, I wanted you to see how cute this one. So like I said, I got this one at the caravan shop. Um, they sell really cute printables, but they have the chalkboard looks to it. They have ones that are in color as well, but I like the, um, the feel of the chalkboard. And you can, like I said, you can totally design one. You can draw one out. You could actually have your kids draw a big picture on just white paper and frame it up this way. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be a chalkboard, chalkboard art. And then why this is flipped around, let me show you the Halloween one that's on the floor over here. So, it, so this one, I'm trying to see if you guys can see it. Something wicked this way comes. There's a spider up there at the top. So you could also just do a whole bunch of spider webs that size. And then um, use it as a backdrop for a Halloween party. And have people stand in front of it for photos. And I think that's it. I'll hold up the one we just finished. Hopefully everything's dry so it doesn't fall. There you go. Just a super easy, quick craft. Um, really inexpensive. And I, what I like about it is I have all these vault, vaulted ceilings everywhere. I can't get this go lower. I have vaulted ceilings. And so I have all of these, this wall space. And I just feel like anytime I put anything small up there, it just gets drowned in it. So I love that it's a really big piece of art that's really inexpensive. I don't like to buy anything expensive because I change my mind. I mean, I've redecorated my living room like four times and I lived here twice. So, or two years. So I don't like to do anything that's super expensive because then I have a hard time letting go of it. I don't know if you guys are that way too. So I love that I have a super inexpensive option. And so if I want to rearrange, I don't feel guilty shoving it downstairs in my storage room because um, it was only, what, $5 to make Pinterest and type in like free chalkboard printables. There's gorgeous fall ones, happy fall. I mean, you could totally make these seasonal. I've seen um, cute 
hot chocolate bars. You can make cute signs like this um, for like a party. Lots of really cute options. So you're going to want to make sure that um, the resolution's high because the bigger it gets, the grainier. Like this is supposed to look grainy because it's a chalkboard. But if it's a small picture and you're trying to blow it up huge, it's going to really look pixelated. So.